Unit 4, Lesson 3, Snow and Hail. Millions of people in the world have never seen snow. Others see more of it than they want to. Hail is much more common. It occurs even in deserts. Each tiny piece of snow is called a snowflake, and each flake has six sides or six points. Billions of snowflakes fall every winter. And the astonishing fact is that each one is different. A snowflake is as individual as someone's handwriting or fingerprint. A snowflake forms inside a winter storm cloud when a microscopic piece of dust is trapped inside a tiny drop of water. This happens in the atmosphere, 10 kilometers above the Earth. The water freezes around the dust, and as this flake is blown by the wind, it collects more drops of water. These drops freeze too, and the snowflake becomes heavy enough to fall to the earth. As it falls, it passes through areas where the temperature and humidity vary. It collects more and more tiny drops of water, and the shape continually changes. Some drops fall off and start to form new snowflakes. This sounds simple, but it's actually very complex. It's so complex that mathematicians using computers are just beginning to understand what happens. Every change in temperature and humidity in the air around the snowflake causes a change in the speed and pattern of the snowflake's formation as it makes its trip to the earth. Since no two flakes follow exactly the same path to the ground, no two snowflakes are exactly alike. However, they are all six-sided. So far, no one understands why this is so. Hail is a small round ball of alternating layers of snow and clear ice. It forms inside thunderclouds. There are two theories about how hailstones form. One theory says that hail forms when drops of water freeze in the upper air. As they fall, they collect more drops of water, just as snowflakes do. They also collect snow. The ice and snow build up in layers. If you cut a hailstone, you can see these alternating layers. The other theory says that hail starts as a raindrop. The wind carries it higher into the atmosphere, where it gets covered by snow. It becomes heavy and begins to fall. As it falls, it gets a new layer of water, which freezes. Then the wind carries it back up to the snow region, and it gets another layer of snow. This can happen multiple times. Finally, the hailstone is too heavy to travel on the wind, and it falls to the ground. Only thunderstorms can produce hail, but very few of them do. Perhaps only one in 400 thunderstorms creates hailstones. Hail ordinarily falls in a strip from 10 to 20 kilometers wide and up to 40 kilometers long. A hailstone is usually less than 8 centimeters in diameter. However, hailstones can be much bigger than that. Sometimes they are as big as baseballs. The largest hailstone ever recorded weighed over 680 grams and had a diameter of 13 centimeters. Hail can do a lot of damage to agriculture, especially since hail usually appears in midsummer when the plants are partly grown. If the crops are destroyed, it's too late to plant more, and the farmer has lost everything. The most damage is done by hailstones that are only the size of peas. In one terrible hailstorm in 1923 in Rostov, in Ukraine, 23 people and many cattle were killed. Snow can cause damage, too. It can cave in the roof of a building. A heavy snowstorm can delay airplane flights and cause automobile accidents. Farm animals sometimes die in snowstorms. And when country roads are closed by snow, people can be trapped in their cars and freeze to death. Yet there's nothing more beautiful than the sight of millions of snowflakes falling at night. That's when people think of the beauty and not the science of snowflakes.